Magandang araw sa inyo mga chong. Welcome to Monkey's Bananas Vlogs where we unbox anything and everything under the sun. Um, happy weekend ulit. So, uh, ngayon lang tayo ulit nakapag-record. Pero, i-upload kagad natin to. And today, we're going to unbox yung Playmates 2013 na line na Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ito ay created ni Peter Laird at ni Kevin. Kevin? Uh, I forgot his last name. Pero, uh, fair, if I'm not mistaken. Pero, uh, this is going to spark nostalgia sa mga batang 90s. Especially, na-create siya uh, mga 1984 yata. It was the year that I was born. And, nagkaroon siya ng, actually, kapag isa kang uh, comic book and uh, writer, uh, animator, you are targeting for the big three, which is basically toy line, TV series, and movies, which nagawa ng Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. And uh, since then, marami na nagkaroon ng um, remakes, uh, as well as multiple movies, pero buhay pa rin sila. And ito yung kinolekta natin ng 2013, kasi I think yung NECA line, I'll just post yung picture anywhere on the screen, um, came out late, pero medyo pricey din siya. Actually, ito rin, uh, pricey, uh, 900 each. Pero, nakuha ko sila on sale, I think, half off. Um, sa SM Capo ko pa yata, ito nabili around 499. Pero around that particular price, or 450. Kung 50% off. So, marami na rin um, knock-offs or bootlegs nitong particular figures na to. Um, these are original ones from Playmates. Kasi nga, galing siya sa Toy Kingdom. And, uh, Pinahit up ko lang siyang ganyan. Uh, basically, it only has six characters dito sa wave. Wala si Splinter, wala si Shredder. And, um, ito lang, itong anim na to. Leonardo, Donatello, Rocksteady, Bebop, Michelangelo, and Raphael. Um, yung sa likod, more or less, it's almost the same for everyone. Um, siguro, galing lang sa Wikipedia yung nakalagay sa likod nito. Pero, um, si Bebop at si Rocksteady lang ang villains dito uh, and then we're gonna open up the turtles so para mas mabilis iisa lang naman ang type mong packaging niya which is clamshell type ito yung mga original or classic types ng um, figures especially ng playmates parang ito yung background niya and then yung alam ko naalala nyo gugupitin nyo pa yung mga accessories nila uh, more or less it was derived from that and um, the bootleg ones, I think, they just sell it for around 2.6, yung apat na turtles na mismo. Pero these are legit as they can be. And we're just gonna open it up. And um, siguro buksan natin sila sabay-sabay. And then I'll just um, speed up the process para hindi na lang din kayo mabor. Pero this is the unboxing that we will do for all six characters and then we'll go into the details later so fast forward So, yun nga mga chong. Lastly na si Michelangelo. Um, Iuli natin siya kasi siya yung actually more or less pinaka-favorite kong turtle. Not only because katoto or kapangalan natin siya. Pero siguro maraming may favorite sa kanya kasi nga siya yung parang surfer dude, the cool guy, yung makulit. At yung uh, nagbibigay ng humor dun sa series. Alright, so unbox na sila. Okay. 
So, yun. Okay. So, so, napansin nyo, medyo madilaw yung clamshell nila. Uh, sa storage kasi, kapag naarawan, yung, kapag na, yung humidity, nagkakaroon ng um, moisture um, yung clamshell. Kaya more or less yung parang yung Toy Biz Marvel Legends and then kung itong mga types of clamshells na to. Kaya siya nagiging yellowish at nakocover up. Pero more or less yung mga figures naman sa loob, okay naman sila. Uh, medyo meron lang konting fading ng pagka-green or different shade. Um, pero no problem, we can just wipe out yung mga uh, dirt. Or more or less, lahat naman sila pristine. Okay. So, let's just start off with uh, Bebop and Rocksteady. Sa mga articulation lang. So, we'll start off with uh, Bebop. Bebop is a uh, street thug. Actually, pareho sila. Uh, ginamit sa kanila ni Shredder yung mutagen para maging mutant sila and he is a uh, combination uh, it's actually just a warthog hindi sila combination um, nung pagka street, street tag niya uh, kasama din siya sa one of their the most popular na makulit parang yun din yung nung uh, ni Shredder uh, along with the foot soldiers so articulation wise, you can bring up his hands that far, medyo brittle, kasi nga, out of the box, um, double joints sa uh, elbows as well as rotating hand, and the articulated yung kanyang fingers, almost the same as this, um, the right hand. Alright, so meron tayong torso movement, and then for legs, double jointed and knees, and then you can pretty much move around the uh, feet. So all of them came with uh, bases, and Bebop comes with uh, sniper rifle type. Not actually, this is from Rocksteady. Pero um, yung sewer cap ni Bebop, all of them comes with these stands, a personalization name, and uh, Bebop comes with a drill gun, some sort of a drill gun. So, he can hold this in his hand. There. Uh, Size-wise, medyo may progress tayo guys kasi bumili ako ng medida. <laughs> so, meron tayong pang sukat. Size-wise, 6 inches, more or less. Yeah. Thank you, Mercury um, National Bookstore. So aside from the accessories, lahat sila merong booklet. Uh, ito si the Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon, Nickelodeon's Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles. Ito na yung around 2013. It includes all of the action figures that comes along with this particular line. So um, if you're a fan, ito na yung mga millennials na makaabot nung series na yan. Hindi ko na panood yan. So that's how it is. So for Rocksteady, he is uh, coming from a rhino, but more or less, it's the same as uh, Bebop's um, articulation. Natanggal din yung kanyang helmet. So he has the accessories, bombs, um, additional na bala, uh, shell type of armor. Boots and then double jointed on the knees, same torso articulation. He comes with a uh, katan or a blade or knife, a huge knife at that, as well as a sniper type of um, gun. And as far as uh, Rhino is concerned or Rocksteady is concerned, his will stand him up later. Maybe B roll or something. Pero ito yung dalawang henchmen ni Shredder na laging kasama nila. So, also 6 inches. Uh, more or less, the turtles should also be the same. 
So, cutting natin. Yeah. Almost all of them are around 6 inches. So, definitely. Um, they all have the same size. And if you stand them alone together, they will look pretty, pretty cool. Let's start off with Leonardo for the Turtles. Leonardo is the certified leader of the team. Um, siya yung parang pinaka uh, tao ni Master Splinter as far as trying to take control of the team. And uh, aside from the the additional accessories that he has, he doesn't have any other than yung weapons. Actually, mga turtles wala namang additional accessories kundi yung weapons nila. So he has yung katana or swords and then he uses them to fight off the bad guys and foot shoulders, especially Shredder. So articulation wise, you can move the head that much. Torso or articulation. Um, you can he has the holster for the uh, swords, and then uh, sa kamay, meron tayo articulation. You can move it that way. Medyo butterfly, not actually butterfly type, but you can swivel it this much for posing action. Um, double jointed dun sa elbows. And yung fingers, actually yung th- kung articulated, yeah. Articulated each finger. So you can move that and then you can move the hand. Same goes with the other hand. Eh, so that it's for holding his katana. So you can have his fist. You just have to be careful. Kasi mukhang brittle yung um, joints niya. But other than that, he has L. Uh, all of the turtles comes the name derives from the Renaissance painters. So uh, here is Leonardo. He has a swivel action for his foot. You can have an articulated upper thigh, double jointed sa knees, and same goes in fingers or toes niya in the long toes can be moved para din for possibility. Alright, next is Raphael. Um, this is the muscle of the team. And um, he has Brooklyn style type of uh, the way he speaks. So he has his size. And you can put it on the holster. Dun sa kanyang belt. Like so. So R on his uh, belt. Same type of articulation as Larry Nader has. So turtle at the back. Red color bandana. So, hindi medyo sen- center yung eyes niya, pero if you get it for 450, I think it's a good deal. Same goes um, articulation on upper thighs, double jointed on the knees, and then single joint dun sa paa and then toes. And we go with Donatello. Donatello is going to be the tech guy. Um, he's also trying to do the strategies for the team. He has his bow staff and you can have it holstered at the back. Same type of articulation for all the turtles. Um, dun sa kanyang kamay. Three. And then yung two toes. Double jointed knee. Single jointed and the sa feet. Upper thigh articulation and then torso articulation. But you couldn't move them that much because of course they have their uh, shells at the back. As well as uh, Donatello's holster. So last but not the least, it's going to be uh, Michelangelo. Actually, uh, Kevin and Peter misspelled his name. Had an A in it, but um, they corrected it with just having it as M-I-C-H-E-L-A-N-G-O. L-O, whatever. But um, he doesn't have um, that much accessories like everyone else. So he has his nunchucks though, and you can put it at the back. The holster for the nunchucks are at the back. It's also the same color. Um, yung handle, same color of his um, bandana, which is orange. Alright. That's it. Same basic type of articulation. So we'll just post them and then give it a round and then um, pass forward. So yun, thank you guys for watching and as always, stay care, stay safe, good shit lang, and then peace out.